Welcome to this introduction video of Predictor. Here you see the Predictor interface with two models open. The left hand side an industrial noise model and at the right hand side a road traffic noise model. Let's first focus on the industrial noise model. Here you see the noise contours of several sources in an industrial harbor area. You can look at the noise contours per period, the day period, the evening period, the night period and the 24 hour value. The LDEN period. Or you can look at the noise contours per group of sources, in this case grouped per name of industry, distribution center, furniture company, oil co, and warehouse. The main group always contains all sources. You can also look at the model in a 3D view. Here you see the buildings, the sources, the noise contours and also the noise contours on the facades of some high-rise buildings in the model. All models can be exported to Google Earth to view the same model on top of the Google Earth uh, image. Select export to Google Earth and it will create a KML file. If Google Earth is installed on your computer, Google Earth will automatically be started and the KML file is transferred to Google Earth. So here you see the complete model including the noise contours, the buildings, the sources on top of the Google Earth topography. Also including your emitting facades, your noise contours on the uh, facades of the high-rise building. Now let's have a look at the road traffic noise model. Here you see a road traffic noise model in Spain along the coast. Look at the 3D view and you also see the 3D terrain model of the predictor. In this case it's a hilly terrain and the terrain is entered as height lines in the model. The predictor automatically creates the 3D topography and all the buildings are mapped on top of it. Here you see the buildings, the roads and the noise contours. The model can also be exported to Google Earth and there you see a similar presentation on top of the Google Earth image. see that the city is located uh, on the coastline. Here you see all the buildings, the road structure. In this case it's using the topography in the 3D terrain uh, of Google Earth and it looks quite similar as the ones in Predictor of course. Okay, now let's create a new model. Go to the model manager and click on the new model option. The model we are creating is called Arnhem Town in the Netherlands and we're using the CRTN calculation method. This is a new model with no information yet. So we are going to import digital data. In this case we are using shape files. The first file is Arnhem buildings. We want to create buildings out of this shape file. So now automatically the shapefile is converted into building items in the predictor model. In this case around 70,000 building items. All building items are polygons, closed polygons, with a height, with a reflection factor, etc. This polygon has 12.4 meters height attached to it. Now we do the same for the road structure. Select import shapefile and select road structure. We want to create road items. So now I've imported both the buildings and the road structure. In the road, traffic data is attached, in this case 18 hour traffic data. A new option in Predictor 10 is web map services. There are some example web map services, but you can also link to your own local web map services. In this case, we're going to link to an aerial picture as a background. So predictor links to the web map service and shows the information as a backdrop behind your model. 
we zoom out, you see that the complete of the Netherlands is offered as an aerial picture. You can zoom in at any place you like. Other types of uh, web map services can be the uh, use of ground. So we select here the use of ground and then every type of ground is presented with a color. Blue is water, green forest, etc. Okay, now we want to calculate and calculate the noise contours in the center of RNM. For that purpose we are going to create a new model, call it RNM Center. We open the model and we choose Tile Vertical. So here we see all the models open at this time. We can close the road structure, the road traffic noise model and the industrial noise model we've just been using. We focus on the two models. This is the complete Arnhem model we've just imported. We want to copy and paste information from this model to the new uh, Arnhem Center model. We're going to do this by selection by polygon. So we simply create a polygon around the information that we want to use. Use the right mouse button, select copy, click on the other model and select paste. That's how easy it is to copy and paste information from one model to another model. So now we can close and or focus on this new model. So this is the model we want to calculate. We need a grid of calculation points if we want to see noise contours. In this case a circular grid seems nice as a demonstration. And the grid spacing is set on 10 by 10 meters. So every 10 by 10 meters the calculation point is uh, created and uh, and on those points a calculation will be done. So now we start the calculation. During the calculation you see the calculation progress. And this is a small model. It will be calculated within a minute. Calculation is complete. So once the calculation is done we can look at the noise contours. And here are the calculated noise contours of the city, of, of the center of Arnhem. And also in the 3D view you can look at the buildings and the noise contours. This concludes the introduction video. Thank you for your attention.